Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I would like to show you how to trace a bitmap in Corel Draw so to convert the raster file over to vector art for manipulation with Corel Draw. Now, the first thing you need to do is open Corel Draw, and you want to import in your your picture file. Um, I do not recommend trying to do this with photographs. Uh, you will not get favorable results. But for simple graphic files, like clip arts, you can um, convert these so you can edit the colors and whatnot. As it is right now, this is all one picture, and I cannot select individual options. But I can select this, select trace map, bitmap, come down to outline trace, and I want to select detailed logo. Um, once the trace comes up, um, there's a couple different options we have here, and you'll notice it's actually trying to delete some of the things here. I want to make sure we're getting as much detail as possible, and you can actually adjust the smoothing. Um, you'll, this is how how much it adjusts, and you'll notice that if I go too high with the smoothing, it's going to start distorting things. So you're going to want to find your, your best option here. I, I'm going to opt to do no smoothing, and then corner smoothing would actually find out if we had any harsh corners it would actually do the smoothing around these corners. Once I have these options I can actually optimize to delete the original image or I can keep the original image and have a separate file. I'm going to keep it here so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. We can select to use remove a background color which you'll notice automatically pick the black that was around the corners uh, or you can actually specify a color I can click and select that color. Now, it's going to remove just what I select unless I remove select remove color from the entire image, at which case it's going to keep, it's going to delete everything that is that color. Now, I'm going to opt not to remove the background so we can see everything here. Um, you can actually tell it to merge adjacent objects of the same color so if, it, if it's actually seeing two different things that are the same color right beside each other it'll merge them into one object. Uh, I can also remove the object overlap which is going to be just a clear overlap over top of it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that uh, and I'm going to, you can actually group objects by color as well which will automatically group everything together by color. Um, once we have everything set that we want, we simply hit OK, and it's actually going to create our vector from the image. Now, the one I pulled down, the one that was on top, is the vector. And if you're unsure, you can hit Arrange, and you notice that Ungroup is, is selectable. If I go to the JPEG and go to Arrange, Ungroup is not selectable. So since this is now vectors, once we did the trace bitmap, everything is a group together. So we want to come in here, we want to ungroup everything. Now each one of these are individual objects. And I can create the I can change the color of each one of these objects as I see fit. Uh, the white outlines that you're seeing in here as well are colors as well. So if I select the white, you'll notice it has changed the color of the white. I can also select an object like the black background here and I can delete it out here. Now you'll notice this was not connected which is why this one did not change to yellow when I changed the rest of it. Um, so you're going to want to look for little details like this as you're, as you're editing your objects and whatnot. Now once you have this you can actually pull these apart. These are separate individual objects and you can do whatever you want with it. Now you notice as I pull this out, I can create a box, color the box black, and then move this to the back by simply doing order to back of page. Now you'll notice that the black that I have selected is actually showing through where I removed objects. And if I change this color, you'll notice where there's no longer anything in the image. This is very helpful if you're trying to do precise or change colors in simple pictures and whatnot. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, please give me a call to 1-800-826-6332.
option two for the first available tech, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.